What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. Hunter, Hunter, Chapter 375. Had some good um, discussion in the comments of the last video and on Twitter. Oh, also, I'm trying a new camera. I hope I'm not too far. We're just messing with some things. I feel like I'm a little bit far enough centered, but I feel like it should be okay. Pretty much three main talking points. Camille's ability, the two sisters, the twin. Are, I'm pretty sure they're twins, or are they just sisters? I'm pretty sure they're twins. Um, and, um, the killer and Hanzo and that kind of stuff. With Hanzo, I got confirmation that the one that Hanzo killed was the killer of the 13th Prince, I think. Um, and he revealed that he had some kind of, uh, similar ability to Hanzo's astral stuff. So it kind of made it, I guess it was easy to kind of pinpoint like, yes, that's him. So we killed him. We got... I guess you could say about as much confirmation as we're going to get that that was him. Who believes it was who, you know, we don't kind of know from there. But we got clarification with that. Um, the two sisters, the two twins. I think the last we saw of them, they were kind of like holding hands, buddy, buddy. But then, the, I, I don't know if she's older, but the other twin with not the black hair kind of made a remark like under her breath of like, watch your back, I'll kill you, I'll do whatever I need to do to become king. So that kind of gave off the impression that, you know, maybe she doesn't care, but then we saw here that, you know, she was showing emotion, missing her sister slash twin as well. I'm curious that, uh, that doorway and that portal, was that simply created by, you know, their want and affection for each other? And their kind of dormant, latent Nen abilities made it happen? Or was it Nen Beast influence? I would hate to think that that's their Nen Beast. Because it draws the conclusion that they're going to need one another to use that ability to protect themselves. To disappear in there if they need to. Um, I would like to think it's more Nen ability and something that's like precious to them. Uh, and it just sparked out of need and want, kind of like a Harry Potter room of requirement type thing, where their Nen abilities just a little, you know, it just happened, you know, just kind of like a Neon and other people that are able to use Nen abilities that they don't know how it happened or why it happens, it just happens. Um, I think it would make more sense if it was that other, other than their Nen Beast, because if one of them dies or if they're too far away and that's the Nen Beast ability, then their Nen Beast has no ability. And I'm also curious, is it just in retrospect to their rooms being conjoined, or can it be used anywhere? If, say for example, you know, they go to that banquet hall again, or they go to different levels of the ship, can we still connect? Do we need to be X amount of distance away from each other for this, like, invisible portal thing to work? I'm not quite sure. And then with Camille, I had a lot of people tell me, after chapter 148 slash where that, not chapter 140, after episode 148 and where that parallels with the manga, everything from there on is kind of going to be he say, she say, head cannon, what side of the fence are you on, what do you believe in, as far as abilities and matchups and certain explanations, just because we haven't gotten clarifications on some things. We've been presented some things, but it doesn't mean we've gotten all the answers and explanation to things and I think one of those things is being Camille's ability I had people even before I finished the anime and before I had started the manga I had people tell me that I'm going to get introduced to princes that have abilities that could one shot Miriam one shot Netero one shot fully roided out adult gone I just had to wait and see now if you're on the f now I don't know how deep we go into Camille's ability but it looks like we don't get much more than maybe we've already been presented even up to chapter 390 and if that's the case you kind of have to pick a side on what explanation you want to be on if Camille's ability is absolute then yes it's one shotting Netero it's one shotting Gone it's one shotting Miriam Pito uh, anybody you want to put in there they're getting killed in an instant now, if you're on the other side to where maybe Camille's Nen ability is kind of like Dr. Blythe and it only can operate in a certain radius, can it be ran from, escaped, teleported from, Nen exorcist off? What's the time period you can evade it? X, Y, and Z. I don't know 
and it looks like like none of us know if it's like a a knuckle type thing. And I don't even know the the full extent on knuckles. I meant to Google that and I didn't. Um, isn't it if you got a certain radius away from knuckle, the APR never ends until he either deactivates it or you bust. Um, but if you got far enough away, it would kind of go on pause. I think that's what happened with Cheeto, didn't it? Like he ended up outrunning Gon and it it disappeared. But as soon as he got back within Gon in uh, Knuckles range, it activated again, I think. Um, so yeah, so you could be on the other side of the fence. If you have somebody like Knuckle, I mean, not Knuckle, Nove, I kill Camille and in an instant, I'm on the other side of the country, I'm on the other side of the world, or I'm just in my dimension in itself. Um... Can that Nen beast then transport further to to follow me? I don't know if it can. And then even if it can, say you know I'm 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 Nove in moral. Um, say Nove disappears and the Nen beast follows. If moral is left there, can he like dismember Camille? Like take her head off? take it with him like just run as far away as he can take her like just dismember her body like does her body still need to be in one piece I, I, I don't know I don't know how that you know the technicalities on all that if I had a Nen exorcist right there on hand I kill Camille they activate it instantly take that curse off of me does it then end can you outrun it with pure speed I had other people explain that Maybe Camille's aura isn't strong enough, so therefore, if you're stronger than her just on pure aura nen, you could fight it off. But then that kind of defeats the purpose of what everybody tells me, like, nen's the perfect power system, you know, there's always ways to counter it. X, Y, and Z. If you, if you believe, like Itachi believes, everything has a counter, or everything can be defeated some way. Um, so I would hate to believe that, like, just because in Miriam is just a stronger Nen being, that if that beast went to snatch him, he could, you know, forcefully stop it. Um, I would like to think that, yes, it could one-shot any and everybody. Miriam, Netero, Gon, all the Zoldics, everybody included. But I would also, my verdict would still be out on, is there a way to evade it? Nove being the per perfect example. I kill her, I dip. Not just dip to, like, the other side of the room. Like, I'm not even physically on the same plane and dimension. I would like to think that the Nen Beast couldn't follow. So, I don't... No, I haven't gotten confirmation that we get no more explanation, but just to everything we've gotten up to this point, that's as far as the conclusion I can draw on Camille, but we'll leave it there. Um, and I think that's it from the ch from last chapter. Yeah, I think that's about it. But, alright. Let's get it going here. Just looking at this, is this uh, is this T-Dog here? Is this T Prince T? Is this uh, Wing Sun? I don't know. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sixth Prince Tyson. Don't worry, love will always triumph. All the cold, lonely nights and, t and the times you wish you could take back will one day become beautiful memories. This is love, the power of love. From the Book of Tyson, second chapter, verse 4. Kanan Chronicles. Are they there for a funeral? That is the fourth prince, is it not? Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe these are just all her bodyguards. Well, because it says we're in room 1006. Why would all the bodyguards be in there? That just looks like him. I don't know if you guys can see my cursor. Chapter 375, title persuasion. Viva Prince Tyson. Viva Prince Tyson. Oh, this is Karapika's uh, old teacher. Oh, shit. Is this her thing here? Wasn't that a total ripoff of Nishinin's Conan lyrics? Seriously, you don't have a you don't have a life. Never heard of her. Her song is legend. Cue the waterworks it no matter how. Alright, they're just talking about random shit. What do you think of these guys, hmm? I don't get any bad vibes. It's the Nen beast of someone who preaches about love. It'd be wrong for it to be harmful. If sh what she's preaching is face value, she could just be saying it so people have that uh, connotation of her. 
Maybe it's like a spirit bomb. Your metaphors are too esoteric. You gotta know DB. DB, huh? I've read it. DB like... Dragon Ball? <laughs> what kind of DB are we talking about? Spirit bomb, huh? Sixth Prince... Sixth Prince Tyson's Guardian Spirit Beast Emitter. Diffusive Levy Type. The IWOG sticks to those who receive a book of Tyson. Like an actual physical copy book, like the book that she writes that she hands out to people? Or is the book of Tyson another word for something that she does ability-wise? The IWOG sticks to those who receive a book of Tyson. The IWOGs collect aura from their host in exchange for happiness. The degree of happiness depends upon how thoroughly they've read the book of Tyson. Oh, it's an actual, so the real hard copy. However, breaking the soul taboo in the book brings about severe punishment. So we don't know what the severe taboo is, and then what is the severe punishment? Death? Somebody that's that passionate about love is probably like, what, if you can't have love, you deserve to die? Is that her deep down demon in her? And then, is that it? Just happiness? Do... Does Tyson get anything back in that aura that they're taking for the happiness? Or is that it? I have an ability that makes people happy. That's it. Is that as far as it goes? I'm not not quite sure. And is there something I, I owe you in giving up that aura? Because you're not willingly giving it up. Those things just attach to you once you're given said book. Or do you have to read it? To those who receive a book... So I've been given it. Now, what happens if I never read it? I don't know. We kind of need more. Uh, we need a little bit, little bit more explanation on that. Oh, shit. Second Prince Camilla's Guardian Spirit Beast. Manipulator Coercive. Controls someone who fulfills its conditions at will. So I'm manipulating somebody that fulfills the conditions of the Nen Beast? coercive does that mean like are we talking like different type of manipulate coercive like i can control you no matter what even if you don't want to be controlled type thing um have we but wait have we ever met a manipulator that isn't f forcefully controlling somebody i don't know control someone who fulfills its conditions at will how does one know the conditions of a Nen Beast? What if I accidentally fulfill the conditions and I don't even willingly want to or know to? Control someone who fulfills his conditions at will. So I have to willingly fulfill these conditions to then let it control me? Why would I willingly do that? Dang, so again, like we need some, exp we need deeper, exp like they're giving us the broad summary of these abilities but we need kind of more in depth and i wonder what this symbolizes because you know all of it all of them kind of like symbolize they kind of uh project an image of like their host on a i don't want to say spiritual level but just kind of a beast level you know the heart just kind of raining more hearts in love with the wings what is this palm tree nipple spooky ghost hiding type thing I don't know what that's supposed to symbolize. Like death always looking? I don't know. I don't know. Looking to strike? I don't know. This is the turtle one we've seen before. Fifth Prince Guardian Spirit Beast Transmuter. Transmuter. I'm trying to think what transmuters. Transmuter like Kilua, Like he can change his aura into things. I always get transmuters and emitters confused. I'm still even thinking about it now, the difference between transmuters and emitters. Transmuters change their aura into something, so like, uh, is he Soka, a transmuter? Because, you know, he cha he's changing the properties. Don't even say it in the comments. <laughs> um, but he's a transmuter. And then an emitter, I'm just controlling something with my aura, but then what makes an emitter different from a different from a manipulator I need to touch up on my categories because I'm thinking about it now 
if I manipulate something, my aura is manipulating it. But then if I'm emitting something, because like we've seen a Franklin emit Nen bullets. But could you not just say he's transmuting, changing his Nen into bullets? I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to get into that right now. The beast can prov can produce a variety of drugs within its body. So it changes its... What? It can just... What? The beast can produce a, a variety of drugs within its body. What does the beast producing drugs inside of its body do for anybody? I mean, can these drugs then be... What? <laughs> Damn it. They're giving us like the broad explanation, but I need like examples here. Seventh Prince, Guardian Spirit Beast, Conjurer, Pseudo Coercive, Manipulative Ability. So he semi is forcefully making you do it. Sets a trap by conjuring whatever the target desires is bait and activates once the target falls for it. Hmm. So it's kind of like, could you resist type thing. So the first thing that pops into my head when I read this is like Karapika. Say this guy's sitting in a room, right? Seventh Prince, he's sitting in a room. Karapika walks in the room and sees a bunch of containers that have the Kurta eyes in it. Clearly they're fake and as bait, but that's what the Nen Beast does, correct? It targets whatever you desire most. Karapika freaks out of course, walks directly over to those eyes to try to, you know, why do you have this? I'm taking these. Is the trap deadly? Is it, you know, paralysis? Is it just immobilized? What's the trap? Hmm. Damn. I hope we get deeper into some of these. For right now, I'm liking uh this trap one the best. I have no idea what the hell this would be used for. The drugs inside the body. And who would willingly f let themselves be manipulated. I mean, unless you're, you know, loyal to Camilla. But doesn't seem like anybody really is. Um, and how would you even know? Like, oh, yes, Spirit Beast. I will fulfill these conditions. You speaking to it? Or are they printed out on a piece of paper? This is dangerous. We must do something quickly or this could become a threat to first prince benjamin each individual's each individual's aura was average but once they assembled with ninth prince halkenberg their power rose suddenly a moment of silence for 12th prince momo so these are all his uh, guards here and he's saying their aura jumped by prayer no they're all united in action a symbiotic fellowship when they're all on the same wavelength, they produce an enormous amount of aura. Because they're loyal to him. But what is... We see the Nen Beast hovering over him, and clearly everybody there should be able to see it, I think. Ninth Prince Halkenberg's Guardian Spirit Beast. Enhancer Symbiotic Type. Symbiotic meaning they both work with each other. They both have something to benefit. The greater the number of the greater the number of those with the mark of the feather who gather under the prince, the higher their potential. How many feathers could he give out at a time? Ten, fifty, a hundred? This is frightening. Oh, this is one of Benjamin's boys freaking out. When the group unifies and activates its abilities, it reaches the highest level among Nen abilities. Say that again? So, all those of who have been marked with the feather gather under him. The higher their potential can be with the more people that gather. When they do unify and all use their abilities and activates its ability, when the group unifies and activates its ability, it's saying its ability, not abilities, like they're all activating separate abilities. It reaches the highest level among Nen abilities. What do we mean highest level among Nen abilities? Like, it can't be beaten? Damn it, when you, you know they're not going to explain it. They haven't explained any of the other ones. 
when the group unifies and activates its ability. It may, it's making it seem like the group has an ability to activate, not once every single... It's not like if like we had a whole lineup here, like, Karapika, activate, gone, Kilua, activate, activate. Like, we all activate our special abilities. Then we reach the highest level of Nen abilities. It says when it activates its ability. Its ability meaning the beast? I don't know. I don't know. Prince Benjamin must have noticed this. If we kill Hockenberg, it must be now. While they're not even aware of their own ability, give me instructions. Yeah, I don't know if this is meaning the Nen Beast itself reaches the highest level among Nen abilities. And what are we what are we saying by highest level among Nen abilities? Like unbeatable? What ability specifically? After the moment of silence and their aura weakens, I'll kill him. That doesn't sound smart. Without their leader, their ability will collapse. The problem is Halkenberg's guardian spirit beast. So he is making it seem like it is kind of one overarching just ability of just... Like the first time we walked up on Pito, he's just like this aura type thing. It knows I can use Nen and is always on alert. If I approach Halkenberg with the clear intent to kill, I don't know how it will fight back. I expect it will shoot its ruffled feathers. Orzin, first, queen, first Queen's Guard on the opposite shift, had received the mark of the feather along with the others. But the fact that it disappeared in ten minutes shows that it has no effect on those who feel no loyalty to Halkenberg. So it's not a coercive manipulation. Okay, so it can't just hit a crowd of people and just take over. Now I have a thousand people's Nen ability at my disposal as far as power goes. It's got to be people that are already loyal to him. But like the others, he has no memory of receiving the mark. So he was aware of the mark, but he doesn't know where it came from. This is memory revision from manipulator attack. Mm. So the guardian spirit beast itself is an enhancer. But influenced by Halkenberg's nature and personality, it was vested with a manipulative ability during its attack. Jesus. It's not a strong manipulator and can't coerce people. It's instead able to delete and tamper with memories. So it can manipulate memories of those it tries to take over. You don't even know how you got it. And then, if you're on board, I'm then enhancing you at the same time. What the f... It's highly likely it's also counteractive in order to better affect memories. Because attacking second carries more risk... It can perform a more powerful revision, even overwrite my target as Prince Benjamin. This guy's going through it mentally. <laughs> After a counterattack, I won't be able to trust my own memory. I won't even be aware of that. I can't, it's not wise to attack Halkenberg right now without knowing his Guardian Spirit Beast ability for sure. It might produce the worst results. I need at least, I need at least one or two others as witnesses to its attacks. This aura... Is it Halkenberg? Yes, sir. A symbiotic type. Can you kill him? No. I'll need two other. I'll need two people to verify information. I'll explain more later. Dang, he felt it. I don't know how far away they are, but he was able to notice that. Which means Karapika and others should have noticed it too, huh? The assassin in 1014, the United Force of 1009, and the scum in 1004. Why is he already? Oh, he. We already know he hates T Dog. So many to choose from. Hmm. The voyage has just begun. So the assassin he's talking about is Karapika. The united force in 1009 is Halkenberg. In 1004 is T-Dog. The voyage has just begun. Like Camilla, there may be others who dig their own graves. Wait and see. Isn't my style, but it would be what? He's just sitting here looking at his John Wick fucking inventory. Gun rack, grenades, rocket launchers. And speaking of Camilla, she is kind of screwed. Because to our knowledge, she doesn't have any other Nen ability. Who's coming for her? Who's releasing her? It's Prince Benjamin that has her captured, so he's the highest ranking. So who's going to override to release him? Nobody's coming for her. Nobody's loyal to her. Or is willingly wanting to be loyal to her. I don't know. Yeah, 1009 is Halkenberg. Your Highness, where to? To make another appeal to father, but seeing the king outside the banquet is forbidden. If that disqualifies me, so be it. The king has declared the battle for succession cannot be cancelled. Further resistance could get you arrested. 
is he crying? I think he is. If I do nothing and there's another victim, I might as well have killed them myself. I can't stand that. The ninth prince is on his way to see the king. Three, no, five attendants following. Roger. The rest of you carry on your duties. Yes, sir. Wait, did he just dismiss those three to five that were accompanying him? And now he's all alone about to get stabbed in the back? Or... No. The re No, he's still good. There's no way he's walking out there alone. He already knows what's happening. Oh, okay, we're back. Are we gonna... That was amazing. A door to Caddy appeared when I wished for one. Did I do that? Is this my magic? I'd like to think it was her because if it's her Nen Beast, man, that's a shitty ability if what I kind of laid out in the beginning tends to be true. The door disappeared when I came back. If it appears again when I wish for it, my magic is real. Please, door to Caddy, please appear before me. Why? Why can't I do it? I'm wondering if it is kind of like a Harry Potter room of requirement type thing. Where if she sits there and specifically asks, magic door to caddy, please appear before me. It's not going to happen. Like you can't, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. But if she was to sit there and not even think about that, she clearly, the more she thinks about it, it's not going to, and I don't even know if this is right. I'm just, this is just head fodder canon. She could sit there and be like, I want this doorway, I want this doorway. The more she thinks about it, and as long as she thinks about it, it's clearly not going to happen. But, you know, she's able to, you know, fall asleep, wake up, and not instantly think of like, oh yeah, the doorway is it back. If she just wakes up and she's like, oh, I miss how things were before this trip. I miss my sister. I miss all those things. And, you know, she looks over and the doorway appears. She's wanting her sister and wanting something like that, but not, you know, specifically the doorway. Maybe it appears then. Um, or it's something that the two of them don't even know yet. Theirs could be a symbiotic thing where they both need to be wanting it at the same time. Caddy has got to be wishing for it, and she has to be wishing for it. And maybe it's just something that both of them aren't aware of at the moment. But what happened before, both of them were, you know, reminiscing, thinking about one another at that exact moment. And their Nen ability connected them. Maybe now Caddy's sitting there thinking, oh man, I hope we don't get caught. I hope nobody noticed that. She's not thinking of, man, I need to make that doorway appear again. So maybe it's a symbiotic thing where they both had to be acting on it. I just feel like again that's just that's shitty it's cool at the same time um but then it's also like you're relying on the other one and if that's as far as their ability goes if one of them dies or doesn't know i mean clearly neither of them though then it's like you're kind of shit out of luck um yeah that's that's real. and what's wild is i thought initially caddy was in some kind of like dimension just hanging out she was literally like in bed um, so it's not something that she created again I don't know if both of them did or what we're just going to have to wait and see Hanzo time's up oh shit he's back how did that happen I... you made me pull an all nighter it better be worth it I made him pay but now there's a bigger problem Um, I th I don't remember the specifics on Hanzo's ability, but did he need to willingly go back to his body, or was his was the astral projection always going to go back? I can't remember if there was a time limit on it to where it was like, all right, it doesn't matter if I can't find my body, I'll go back. And we didn't get confirmation on, say, Bisky was captured, or Bisky's like, screw this, kills Hanzo. You know she wouldn't, but kills Hanzo. Is he just stuck wandering around as this, like, spirit ghost that's there but can't die is stuck on this astral plane I, I don't know that sounds like 13th prince guardian spirit beast yeah Virgil is pretty angry but he'll let um, Bale go to Karapika's class right if it looks different outside the door yeah if this room has been isolated it's possible it won't be the hallway oh shit and that's right he's he's in there with them and they don't know where they are. Um, it'll be bad if Virgil panics. He's suspicious of a, of 
of a Hunter Association conspiracy. B does not need to go. We feel for the sweet talk of the we fell for the sweet talk of the class on Nen and lost a precious ally. Bergen has been killed, so the quest to learn Nen is over. I'm guessing this is the mother of the prince. True. The assassin hasn't been caught, and sending more people will gain us nothing. I have an idea. What? We can teach... We can teach the staff here, Nen. We'd like you to watch and ascertain the truth of Nen. You sound confident. You think you can make me accept the existence of Nen? Yes. The technique to make nothing seem like something. People call that sleight of hand. He, he thinks um, Nen users or hunters are just like some swindling, lying, stealing like like street street magicians, just trying to like take your money, sleight of hand. Let me get that watch you don't see it type thing. I don't think he. I mean, clearly he doesn't. I understand Nen is a mental technique to bring out potential and display above normal power. The absurd superpowers that you expose that do not exist. Oh fuck. <laughs> she uh she roared it out on him. This design looks this is how I really am. I don't know how it really works either. Over years I wished for a desired outcome and I got to where I am through gradual changes. You're not wrong that the mind can affect the body. But the range of Nen abilities isn't as narrow as you think. I like the design drawn better than I like it animated. I feel like animated has kind of like a western spin on it to make it look like real just... I, I don't even know how to describe it. Kind of like roided out action figure character. It doesn't... I mean, it's still crazy as shit when you just saw this 4 foot 11 chick sprout up to 6 8 um busting out the seams but it doesn't look like as holy shit when she was like hulking out originally and and overwhelming visual proof it's the most effective persuasion i could show him my doubles but the risk is high the risk is higher i'd come under suspicion as the assassination yeah he can't be showing that did we ever i'm sure we have i can't remember what what it is that Bisky's doing that allows her because this is her true state this is her true form she walks around like this what is it that she's doing is she manipulating herself is she transmuting her aura to suppress her body in a certain way because we know she has that like spa massage therapist chick and she's conjuring that. So she is a conjurer of some degree. What is it that she does to make herself shrink? What what does that fall under? I have no idea. And I can't even remember if that's been explained. But she... But then... Oh, shit. Here's the thing. When she's like this, and we've seen her fight the people on Greed Island before like this, and we saw her fight Kilua. When she's in this form and she's fighting, is she also an enhancer? Or when she fights in this form, she's just a pure, she's just strong and fighting. There's no aura behind this other than, you know, like Gyo and Ko and places to put the Nen to, you know, you know, block harder here and block harder there. But is she an enhancer in this state? Because... We've seen Gon and Kilua when they were in Heaven's Arena and such go against guys that were three, five, six times their size, but the two of them still hit harder than those big guys. So is she just a big person that hits hard, that just has a little bit of Nen behind it, or is she also an enhancer when she's in this state? Because I guess when I always think of like big, I think of enhancer, but this is her natural size. So she might not be enhancing. She might just be, you know, she's trained in this form. So she's hip to Nen. You know, she can move. She can use Nen. You know, she can move quicker. She can hit a little bit harder. But is there anything that she does when she's this size that gives her any benefit other than her just being bigger, stronger, faster? I don't know if she's an enhancer that can also conjure. But then what is it that she does when she shrinks herself? Uh 
I can't guarantee anyone within two weeks like Harapika, but for people with aptitude, it would be compar comparatively easy to double physical abilities in a month. I can't believe it. How? How can there be someone so beautiful? The beautiful yet sinister line from the trapezius muscle to the deltoid. Her hamstring is quite, it's quiet yet tyrannically, tyrannical bulge. He's freaking out. He's at a loss for words. You can choose who gets taught. Why don't we begin right now? No, 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 that won't do. Me. Teach me, Ned, please. Now he wants to be a street, ma street magician, swindling people and shit. It'll save, it'll save time if you teach me directly. Whether what you say is true or fiction. You're right, I'll change shift to match yours. Guarding the queen and prince at the same time would kill two birds with one stone. Yes. B will go to room 1014 is scheduled. Okay, so they're going to have one person go out and learn Nen with Karapika, and then he's going to sit and learn Nen as well. Okay. Don't get me wrong, I haven't accepted Nen, and it's not and it's not to check outside. It's strictly to find out what the other princes are doing. Yes, yes. All right. It's early, but we, but we could check outside. Oh, hold on. I'll go with you. Don't get me wrong. I still don't believe what Karapika said. Okay, okay. Why are we... This is making me nervous. Like, they're going to open the door and a flipping rocket launcher is going to come in. Why do we just get three continuous panels? So they can... Well, hmm, it doesn't look different, and it's not like there's an invisible wall. Shall we request a hunter from 1014 to come here? What for? Karapika said... What Karapika said was bogus. So they do see the hallway. So why the hell can Hanzo see them when he came in? Being enclosed in an end space, in an end space, the boundary with with the real world can be classified into three categories: impermeable, meaning you can't get in at all, no matter what you do; permeable, one way; permeable in one way. If there are no visible changes, most are number three, and you can't get back once you leave. Such powerful harmony of the digital flexors and extensors. Are you listening? Of course, but the whole thing is flawed. B just went out normally. The de determination of being in or out of a space is often calculated when the entire body crosses the boundary. Captain Virgil, I'll ask again. May I go? Fine, go. But... Don't get me wrong. Quiet, Captain. The proof is in the pudding. Seeing is believing. All right, so they're all here. I'm completely outside. Can you see me? Yes, as normal as can be. Okay. Oh, fuck. This time I'll go back in. Here I go nice and slow. Is that a barrier that just melted my man's arm off? <laughs> or is it he's past the barrier and if you try to go back through, you're literally not on that XY access plane dimension. I really hope his arm just didn't get evaporated. Well, to be honest, as soon as I was completely out, Okay, he's talking. He doesn't seem to be in, like, pain or panic. You all disappeared into thin air. So the room 1013 I'm seeing is not the one you're in. So when he was out here, he was speaking to himself. When he said, I'm completely outside, can you see me? When, what's his name, Virgil? When he said, yes, as normal as can be, I don't think uh, B heard that. I think they just put it there to make it seem like they were having a conversation. I, he really didn't hear them or hear them say that. Can you still hear me? I'll be off. Wow, he can't see them. Yeah, he really can't. Can you hear? Can you still hear me? I'll be off then. I don't know if I can get back. I don't know if I can get back. There it is. This is likely Prince M's guardian spirit, spirit beast Nen ability. Let's begin the training, everyone. Damn. And that Sphinx right there. What's wild is... uh. We still, okay. This is going to be, again, we didn't get much explanation on what our, what our, we saw through their POV. 
of how broken this mayor may not be. What Biscuit was saying, to be in an, an enclosed end space, it's impermeable, permeable, or it's one way. Is this... I'm just comparing it to like Nov's ability. Is it existing in its own plane? Or it's there, but once you leave, you cannot come back in. Like that's that's a condition on the ability. You can be in here, you can be hidden, you can be cloaked, nobody will know you're there. But once you leave the parameters, that's it. You can't get back in. Uh, but can you willingly be let back in? The Nen Beast has eventually turn off right doesn't it run on the host energy aura you know if they run out or they fall asleep or anything like that does it cut off i can't remember i'm always going to keep getting that confused because it was like when the when the people are asleep that's going to be when they're most vulnerable so if you can start kind of piecing that together as people that are going out here assassinating um just attack them when they're asleep because the Nen Beasts are going to be off. They're not on sentry mode where they just sweep. It's like when they're out of energy and they need to recharge, the Nen Beasts disappear. So like when the kid falls asleep, does the Nen Beasts turn off? I don't know if it can, can only keep it up. But the thing is, the Nen Beast does still exist because we saw Hanzo walk in and he saw the beast. We still don't even have confirmation if you can physically attack the beast. If I walk in that room right now and I see the beast there and nobody's there, can I charge up a punch and physically touch that Nen beast? Or I actually can't even, I can see it, but I actually can't harm it. Is the only way to harm a Nen beast to harm the host? I don't know, because if I was to go in there and I was strong, maybe I'm, I'm like Benjamin or Karapika or somebody like that, and the Nen Beast has actually no way of killing me other than, you know, swiping me. It doesn't it, it doesn't have an ability outside of this dimension bubble it's creating, and I've just gotta be faster than it or take a hit from it. I can blitz, I can attack that beast, you know, damage it enough. I don't know what you've gotta to do to, you know, make it drop its ability. Um but if you can if you cannot attack it, I mean, who's to say you could ever reach them? If I walk up in there and I'm Uvo or somebody like that, and I do my big bang into the ground right in that hallway, right here, where they all open this door here, and everybody's looking out, and we're all able to see it. If I'm Uvo and I walk right in the middle of this hallway, and I do my big bang smack into the ground, are they going to feel that? Is, that, are there, is there going to be repercussions in this room where Hanzo and Biscuit and Virgil and all of them are? Or are they completely again on a, another like XY access to where they're unaffected? Anything that's actually happening in the real space, they are unaffected by. I don't know. I have absolutely, because if that is true, then they cannot be reached by anything. We even saw Hanzo wasn't an actual physical being. He was like a spiritual astral projection. Like he's on a different plane. And he wasn't able to see them. So it's impermeable to, you know, people acting on like a spiritual level. People physically actually walking in like our man did right here. Once you've left, you cannot get back in. I don't know if there's a way to get back in. You know, the Nen Beast has got to eventually drop that down, right? It can't keep that up 24-7. But who's to know when that is or when that is? You can't keep letting people walk out, walk in. And you, you just start losing people one by one if you do that. But eventually it has to come down. But again, we don't know the specifics on it. So does it exist in its own realm or possibility? Like, because I'm just trying to think, like, if, I, if I'm Uvo or I'm, uh, oh, if I'm Yuppie and I do my, I do my self-destruct uh, explosion thing right in front of this door are they going to feel that I don't know I don't know if it exists on its own or not I really don't know I mean there's nothing to suggest it does or it doesn't I honestly do not know everything we've got besides Bisky talking about it's impermeable meaning you're not getting in I don't care if you bring Netero's hundred hand statue shit you rock paper scissor me 
whatever, you're not getting into this dimension if you're not in. Which doesn't seem too far-fetched, because some abilities that we've seen, you know, that seems highly, highly possible. Um, it is permeable. Maybe if you know where it is, you can attack and damage. And then one way. But it looks to be also one way slash impermeable. Um, because he wasn't able to get back in. And he also wasn't able to put anything through it, at least with his own arm. If he did it with some force, or he, uh, came back with a gun and shot right where he walked out, would the bullets go through? I don't know. So we're going to need some serious confirmation on all that. All the Nen Beasts we got introduced to this chapter we're going to need. Um, the Bisky moment was great. Um, and yeah, clarification on what Bisky... I honestly don't know what she does. Other than conjuring her masseuse, what is it that she does that cloaks herself to look this small? I don't know if that's an emitter ability or is she manipulating herself? And then when she's in her... This is her regular form. Is she just a buff chick that knows how to use Nen? And that's all she is in this form? Just somebody muscular that can, you know, put Gyo here, put some Ko and Ren places, and that's it? Or can she do anything in that form? Is she a big Uvo that's an enhancer? Or is she big like Uvo but doesn't have any doesn't have any bonuses in that ability other than, you know, being a little bit stronger? Um, yeah, so the, the Invisible Room ability, Bisky, Hanzo's Timer, these two twins, is it Spirit Beast, is it them? If they think about it, they can't get it. Hulkenberg, whatever the hell's going on with him. And then with Hulkenberg's thing, they said loyalty. I'm still, I don't know if it's one ability that their abilities, or their, I, I don't know if they enhance the beast to do some kind of all-powerful Nen ability. Um, what is it that he said? The highest level among Nen abilities. What that means, I have absolutely no idea. And then how does the loyalty work? Say Benjamin, like he, this guy goes and gets Benjamin, they walk up in that room. I'm somebody that's loyal to Halkenberg. I'm like, you know, guys, don't worry about it, we'll sit here, we'll protect Halkenberg. Benjamin pulls up a photo or a video directed at me. He's like, I have your family held hostage, you know, back on the continent or whatever. You stand with me or I give the command to kill them. If in that instant, you know, I'm with Halkenberg, my abilities are enhanced. If I'm like, fuck that, I'd rather protect my family. And I'm standing next to Halkenberg. This is me, this is Halkenberg. I'm like, all right, screw it. And I unleash my enhance ability on Halkenberg when I mentally make that decision, is that ability now off me? I don't get any of its benefits. How long does that take to shut off? Could I do it in a split instant and still get the benefits from it? Something like that? I don't know. I actually have no idea. Was there anything else? Oh, yeah, the explanations on these. What the hell those the drugs inside the body have to do? I don't know, unless it can release toxins with the drugs it makes or something like that. This seems pretty dope, this, like, setting traps, but I don't know how how deadly the traps are or what they're supposed to be. Camille's ability, again, how do you even know the conditions are met or why would you willingly do that? And then, you know, kind of the hard abilities and all that kind of stuff. But wait, holy, this was a 50-minute video? Holy sh... Wow. There's just a lot. I feel like there's just a lot, a lot in this uh, chapter. But again, feel free to answer anything that's not spoilerish. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Patreon members, you guys have a good week. Get this on Monday the 19th. YouTube members, you have a good weekend. And again, if we're able to get this video to 100 likes, next week you guys will see 376 and 377. If not, we'll just have 376, and we're, we're almost there. I mean, we got, what, 14 chapters left? Something like that. We keep it going. Appreciate the support, guys. Like, share, subscribe, as always.